how's up y'all's popping it's d about to react to this vid so this is regarding the whole chris brown situation apparently people are you know still giving him a hard time because of what happened you know between him and rihanna all those years ago and him putting his hands on her um, and he just feels like it's unfair. He's being treated unfairly. So there's not an actual like video per se to react to regarding this um, because he posted about it on IG. Um, but Ak has, you know, made a video talking about it and it says, let him live. So we don't hear what he has to say, but Chris Brown. <laughs> Shut the hell up, okay? And I'm I'm going to talk in detail about why he needs to shut the hell up. But let let's hear what he has to say. Let's watch. The Ruffles situation. That's actually kind of interesting. So Chris Brown is fucking fed the hell up, okay? Apparently, um, the NBA All Star uh, celebrity game happened, and apparently he was invited to perform or not perform, but he was play. invited to play in the game. At the last minute, they canceled his um, invitation. So he said on Instagram, calling everybody out. He says, I was asked by the NBA to play in the All-Star game this year, only for them to call later and say they couldn't do it because of their sponsors like Ruffles. At this point, I'm sick of people bothering me, and I'm tired of living in the fucking past. I posted an email so y'all could see the NBA still was trying to get me to come and sit courtside. Not fucking happening, Okay. Now you show the the email of them inviting them to play. Say welcome to the 2024 NBA All Star Weekend. We are thrilled to that you'll be a part of it. What career, Archie? Here's a venue, event, show date. I'd like to connect you with Holly Cisco, talent manager for Lucas Oil Stadium. At this year's event, her team will specifically handle your logistics this weekend. Blah blah blah. We believe you, Chris. The they invited you, then they. It's our goal to make your they experience turn them as smooth on. and seamless as possible. Okay. Want to share the image of the uniform for this year's game with him being on the Lil Wayne's team. He will be in the blue uniform. So this is a, a, a kind of like mock-up of what he was supposed to be wearing. He, then he says, I only go wear him appreciate. Now, Ruffles actually responded to that because, uh, and, and by the way, he, he, here, who the fuck is Tamika Mallory, bro? Like, uh, okay, I don't know if I'm just Anyway, Ruffles came out and said this. They said, Ruffles sponsored said last night's NBA All-Star Celebrity Game. However, we did not have any involved in your business to it wasn't any me. player decisions it or celebrity me. invite discussions. So they're denying it. I, I, I got to imagine, this is an NBA who probably made that decision. Bro, they're not trying to put first round on, on, you know, national TV to kind of like jump any, like, you know, bad So why bother people. him in the first place? Do I think it's unfair? Absolutely. fucking movie. Like, Chris Brown, he's become the face of domestic violence, and it's only because of how popular and how beloved Rihanna is, right? There's been many other people who have either been accused or actually committed acts of domestic violence, but over time, people either forget or they forget. When it comes to Chris Brown, it feels like, and I won't say necessarily culturally, it feels like on a corporate level, they will never let him get around that or get past that. It doesn't matter if Rihanna got a new man, got a new baby, or two babies. We're all looking at Chris Brown as some big, bad woman beater. And, you know, obviously the pictures that came out back in the day definitely didn't help. Do I feel bad for him? Yeah, I kind of do, man. Because, bro, look at all these other people. And I don't have to, you know, all these other people get celebrated. Like, Bad Punch punched out Emily's team. Uzi fucking Who was celebrating like, like, him? Right? Like, like think about all this thing. Cardi slapped the shit out of Ruby Rose. Like, come on. Like, you know, like none of these people are, are, are seen as that. They're not judged as that, as that. But Chris Brown can't, like, fucking, you know, um escape like this like she just can't escape it there's been just so many other people who have been accused or actually did some shit so i kind of feel bad in that sense because to be the poster child for domestic violence and to feel you did your time feel you went through also it's rihanna so of course it's gonna get a lot more media attention and we saw the photos of her face being bashed in they were very very extreme Photos of her. Changes in your life. He did a documentary trying to speak on it and actually admitted that, you know, he admitted fault and he was he was trying to grow ever since. To have people constantly remind you that you're still nothing because you did that, which was obviously a regrettable mistake. They didn't even say part, that, though. But they won't let you ever get past it. That got to hurt. So, you know, 
Shout out to my man, Chris Brown, man. Like, you know, there's been so many things that I think that he would do great in. Like, when we see tributes on, like, MTV or BT, we're like, Chris Brown would have killed it. Shit, Super Bowl. We're like, damn, it would have been cool if, if Usher would have brought him on, right? And obviously, in the celebrity basketball game, we're like, damn, you know, Chris Brown could ball. It would be great if he was there. None of those things are happening. And I think primarily the reason is because people care about their brand associations and they don't want to give Chris. No one's going to take a risk that one of their brands will pull out. Um, just for just over trying to give Chris Brown a look. So it's kind of fucked up, but the businesses are doing what the businesses do. They're also going to pass the blame because they clearly want the additional attention from, that Chris Brown brings to the game. That's why they invite him to uh, courtside, but they don't want him fucking up their sponsors, which you can't be mad at them, even though it was a sucky move on their part to blame the sponsor. I mean, so I... Chris responded, check his story. What did he say? Chris Brown, official. He says, cap. cap. He says, ruffles, cap. I, I guess, guess I'm trying to say face now. Stand on business. Don't try to make it look like I'm tripping. You and the NBA representatives know exactly what y'all are doing. Right? He says, I have no reason. I have no reason to lie. Yeah, no, I don't chase them. The only reason they respond is because all the team brings the fans to London shit. Stop fucking playing with me. See how fake this shit is? Cowards. Y'all know damn well I ain't lying because I ain't never been on this type of time. These bitches, Ruffles, trying to save it. Face. Not bitches. Um. A bullshit. Okay, and I guess they turn they turn their comments off. Let's see, let's see how this shit was looking. Yeah, they turn that shit off. Oh, oh, Chris Brown fans flooded this shit right here. Damn. I'm still eating ruffles. <laughs> Yeah, Chris Brown is, hey, at least yeah. he, he still got that popularity, man. That's them Team Breezy fans still going hard. Damn, he he had them flood flood that shit ten thousand times and four thousand here and three thousand here. Yeah, not bad. Not, the not Chris bad. Brown. Again, this is still gonna happen, man. Unfortunately, there's nothing that Chris Brown could do. All right, I've heard enough. Here's the thing, Chris Brown has been problematic for a very long time now. He is acting like that happened with Rihanna and it, it ended there. It did not. You continue to put your hands on multiple other people, men and women. Karuchu, Karuchu, she had to get a restraining order against you. You was beating her ass as well. So what are we talking about? Why are you, why are you acting like that was the only situation? It wasn't. A. B. Boo fucking who? Oh my God. You can't play an all-star celebrity game. The world is about to end. So you are a millionaire who is very successful. You are still able to have a thriving career. It is not like they blackballed you and you're not able to make a living and you live in, you know, in a box somewhere. Like you're still a millionaire doing very well. You're in the top 1% earners in the fucking world like you are actually living a great life <laughs> so what are, what are we talking about just because people you know remind you of it here and there oh my god oh you shouldn't have did it then you shouldn't have put your hands on her it is what it is i don't feel bad for him at all he he has a successful career why are y'all feeling bad for a millionaire who's able to still make a living i'm very confused he just dropped an album and i just reacted to chris brown on my patreon just reacted to one of his music videos you know i i said positive things about him in that video but chris brown shut the hell up you are crying about this situation okay that's what happens your actions have consequences and sometimes shit will follow you for several years it is what it is those were the decisions you decided to make you know, people say, oh, well, Rihanna put her hands on him too. Sure, they both were in the wrong. Is it is it technically fair that, you know, Rihanna doesn't get any heat for this? Sure, you can argue that. Is it unfair that other artists don't get as much heat as, as he gets, you know, uh, socially and on fucking social media? Sure, you can argue that's unfair, okay? Who, who gives a fuck? Get offline then. Don't look at what people are saying about you. You're still able to tour. You're still able to make millions of dollars. You still have a great life. What are we talking about? So what? <laughs> and you can't play in a fucking celebrity all-star game. I got the receipts, y'all. Look, look, they don't want me to play in ruffles. They met. So what? Cry me a river. Oh my God. Y'all acting like people have framed this nigga. He did what he did. And again, he has been problematic ever since. 
He continues to be in some some type of controversy. He continues to be on some bullshit. He's just not a very brand friendly artist. Period. He got drug uh shit attached to him. All type of shit. What are we talking about? This man is not brand friendly overall. Let's be clear. Uh, but I'm not about to shed no tears and feel sorry for no no millionaire who's still thriving. They didn't blackball you. They didn't cancel your career. Maybe if that happened, then I would be like, damn, that is kind of like the P was talented. Now he can't work. Now he can't make music. But you're still doing all those things. You're still very relevant. You're still very respected. You still have Team Breezy. They ride for you. What, what are we complaining about? Because you couldn't bounce a fucking basketball and play in a celebrity game? Boy, shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm tired of these people. There are, there are things going on in the goddamn world. All right? There are people who are actually suffering, people who are broke, people who can't make an honest living. You up here, a fucking millionaire crying because you can't play in the... Y'all can feel sorry from all you want. I don't. And I say what the fuck I said. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!